the opposite of SOP is known as the POS or product of sums. Now we have the, we have two things here. We have the standard POS similar to standard SOP and then we have the canonical POS. So a standard POS can look something like this. We have a function f of abc, which is a or b prime and a or c. This is in the standard POS form. So to convert it to a canonical POS form, we know that this is missing the c term and this is missing the b term. So we write f of a comma b comma c equals a plus b prime plus c times c prime. Uh, this is basically a zero, so there's no harm done. And we have a plus c plus b times b prime, which is another zero here. Now we can use the distributive law, which states that x plus yz equals x plus y times x plus z. So if you assume that this is x, this is y, and this is z, we can write that equation as a plus b primes plus c times a plus b prime plus c prime times similarly assuming this as x this as y and this as z we can write that as a plus b plus c times a plus b prime plus c uh, we can see that we have a common term here this one and this one so we can ignore this term this is said to be in the canonical pos form So in the canonical POS, each term should have all the three terms or all the three parameters. So this one has A, B, and C. This one has A, B, and C. This one has A, B, and C.